Welcome back to the channel guys, hope everyone's doing well. So lots has been going on in the Mesh-tastic world. I've been doing lots of videos about it, there's been lots of other videos out there about Mesh-tastic and it's just gone wild. It's just really sort of taken off this stuff. I think because it's sort of cheap fun, you know, you can grab one of these nodes, like a little Helltech node for like 20 quid, you can strap it up somewhere and, you know, see what contacts you can make. It kind of reminds me of the old CB days. So if you're not all already kind of familiar with this, um, go check out some of my earlier videos, Link below and you'll sort of get up to speed on what's been going on but this video is just going to be basically about what's been going on in the Meshtastic world lately and there's been quite a few interesting things happen so we've seen that there's been some issues with mapping so a lot of us have been using the original canvas map that was set up I don't know when but basically it's been around for a long time but as of late there has been some abuse on it and I don't know what's happened now but I've just literally logged into it and you can't even um, you can't even see any nodes on here so I don't know what's happened there there. So that's pretty annoying because that was a pretty good place to sort of, you know, look for activity and see in your area. And it had actually populated quite well since my first videos that I did about Meshtastic. But fear not, there's another map we can use. So what we're looking at here, guys, is the new MeshtasticUK.com map. And this is basically the start. So this is work in progress, but it's fully working and you can add your nodes in here. This is protected against abuse. You can't use it unless you log in. Look at that lovely T deck there. So you can log in, create an account on here and then you can basically add your notes into this map cool thing about this which you couldn't do on the canvas one is you can actually edit your points as well you can put in your fixed gps location easily by just literally clicking on the map somewhere and adding that point it's so easy so the link to this map is down below in the description go add your notes if you want to thing about this is it is manually updated so this map does not automatically add your locations from the mesh. It's purely up to you what you want to display on there, which I think is the right way to go about this. You know, the problem we've had lately is MQTT. MQTT. Whilst it is quite a handy thing to have if you're in an area where there's no nodes, it is a pain in the backside if you have a quite a busy mesh to start with. So basically we've had situations over here, we've got about 30 nodes on a mesh, yep, lucky us, you know, it's just grown that way over here. Um, and it has in some other areas as well. But basically if somebody turns MQTT on in our mesh, it will just bring the whole thing to a complete and utter standstill. And I've seen there are some other maps out there that actually use um, MQTT to populate that map, a bit like APRS does in the, in the hand world. It's a really cool idea and it's clever how it does it, but the problem with this is if everybody turns MQTT on to get their nodes on that map, then you just end up with a problem where you know the mesh could just fall fall apart. Um, this is a real problem. MQTT can be a blessing and a curse. It's one of the reasons why I haven't done a video about it, but I think the way Mesh Tastic designed it works better without it. At least it does in its current iteration anyway. I think we need to be moving to a more clever way of using MQTT, using the benefits, but not broadcasting absolutely everything onto a mesh. It can be really detrimental to the performance. Anyway, a new map's here for you guys. Go and enjoy it, add your nodes. Um, see, I've started it off by adding my one there. And yeah, it'd be cool to see this one populate. And this map's run by us, the UK Mesh-tastic team. So you can be confident that it's not gonna disappear overnight and all the data's gonna be safe and all that. Sort of stuff and that brings me on to the next thing that i was talking about at the end of the last video um, the mesh tastic uk store so this is something that myself and a couple of others are setting up at the moment so stay tuned for more information on that it's going to be a place where you'll be able to get basically anything Meshtastic. That's what we're working on. Because if you've tried to get hold of any of the Meshtastic products of late, you will know what an absolute nightmare it has been. I've been trying to keep the links below in my videos um, to where you can get stock, who's got stock at that moment in time, and I'm updating it like once a day. So right now, if you're looking for products, have a look in my links below, and you might be lucky. Also, if you haven't ordered your Bender case yet, Go and get one of these cases for the Helltex. They are absolutely amazing. Um, there's a bit of a waiting list on these now because <laughs> there's been a massive, um, massive interest in these cases. So yeah, and you can see why they just look so good. Um, I'll link the video below to this case as well if you want a closer look. And yeah, I'll leave the link to where you can get these as well. So good. Print files are available for those too. So if you want to print your own, if you've got a 3D printer, or if you know somebody that's got one, 
then you can just print one of these pretty easily. So aside from all of that, the mesh is growing really nicely. It's been so cool to see on my Discord and obviously the official Discord, um, all the people that are putting up nodes in high places. Um, it's, it's, it's so cool. Some of the distances that are being achieved right now are absolutely insane. 90 kilometers, 100 kilometers, you know, from some of these really high points. Um, and of course that means that, you know, we're having uh, nodes up high, which are bridging gaps and, and everything. So we're moving closer to like this actually kind of the coverage area is getting big. Don't get me wrong, there's still areas where there's completely nothing. Um, I'll still go out of my little zone over here and, and find that, you know, oh, you know, there's not really that much happening. But it is interesting. There's definitely more popping up um, every day. But the product is, is the main issues, getting hold of um, just a simple Helltech device. So that's why we're trying to resolve that problem. Anyway, guys, I have actually done some updates on our Discord, added a few more channels. The, uh, the main ch sort of channel for me fantastic because <laughs> it's just gone absolutely nuts and you know just getting it was getting too much i was logging in and seeing like 180 messages um so i've tried to sort of section it out a little bit not too much but just enough so that you know if you want antenna information you can go to the antenna section if you want you know general troubleshooting help you can go there um and also just stuff like just somewhere to share pictures of your of your node setups because some of them some of the locations are, are amazing lewis um ringway manchester you might have seen his video um tonight went out and done some um you know amazing stuff if you know pointing yog is at lighthouses all this <laughs> all this kind of crazy stuff so it's it's become a lot of fun and a good hobby for everyone which is what it's all about anyway guys that is it for this one catch you next time Thank you.